Hey YouTubers, welcome to another one of my free energy device videos. Just like all my other free energy videos, I will be showing you a device which I duplicated, which is shown on YouTube, in order to show my viewers if the device really works, or if it is just another YouTube scam. I spend the money and take the time to duplicate the device in order to save you time and money from trying it yourself. Of course, if you doubt my results, you can always give it a try yourself. If you enjoy these type of videos, please refer to my free energy scam video playlist. The link to that playlist is posted in the video description area. Feel free to post your comments as well as any questions, but please do not tell me what I did wrong unless you have a video on your channel showing your attempt at duplicating this device. If you do, then I will be glad to hear what you have to say. If you have a device that you claim works, then after I speak to you and personally inspect the device, I would be more than happy to post links to your channel as well as assist you in any way possible. Okay, let's get started. Today I will be showing you this free energy perpetual motion device. Just as in my other free energy scam videos, I will not be posting a link to this original video. I do not want to send any views to that person to have them profit any further from this scam. Hopefully you know the video I am talking about by looking at my device. If you do, then you can easily compare what I did to that other video. Let me remove the wheel to give you a better look at things. The entire base is made from birch plywood. Each one of these supports is made from balsa wood. The entire back fin that I made is also from balsa wood. The other video shows a different metal tip here. It actually looks like a metal push pin that was used, just stuck it in the wood and put some glue around it. So what I did is I used these cap nuts. These will serve the same purpose. Over here, the other video used copper wire to support the axle on the wheel. And what I did is I used brass. Inside this piece of balsa wood is a brass cotter pin. I slid it down, opened up the end to support this part right over here. Both sides have that done the same. Just as in the other video, this wood is made the same way. And I have the same aluminum foil tape going up and over the edge. And the width of this wood is very similar. The wheel is made from foam plastic. The aluminum strips are the same aluminum tape that was used over here. The same number of strips of tape are used as in the other video. Very similar width and similar length and it wraps around the edge of the wheel. My wheel is actually made a lot better than the other video as well as this entire stand. The axle here, I'll give you a better look at that. is made from a pen. I cut open a pen, took the plastic tube, on the very end I slid in a number 8 plastic anchor for screws, slid this brass wire all the way through the center, out the other side like you see here. Let me lay that this way. Balanced as good as I can get it, which is still better than the other video, and I put epoxy resin to hold it in position, as well as epoxy resin on the ends. One side is white, just like the other video, and this side is black. According to that creator, once this wheel is placed inside this holder, you're going to have negative and positive charges on one side of the wheel positive and the other side negative. This metal strip here either attracts or repels those charges and that gets it going and this part over here he claims removes other charges the whole thing is actually ridiculous what I'm going to do is I'm going to place the wheel in the holder and show you that this is a scam and it does not work let me get this properly positioned here all right now if you look over here better look all right like that, all right? That's that side. Take notice 
The spacing over here is around a quarter of an inch, just like the other video. The angle of the camera, as I'm showing you this, may make that space look a little smaller than it really is, but it is a quarter of an inch all the way through. All of this is glued and epoxied in. There is a space, just like the other video, around a sixteenth of an inch to an eighth of an inch. It varies, just like the other video. This side has another one of those contacts, right there you can see it. So once this is positioned, I should be able to spin this and it should go into motion and never stop spinning. So let's give that a try and see how well that works. Let's try going backwards. Let's try going forward. Give it a real fast spin. All right, and you can see these strips line up just like in the other video if you've seen it. Two of them go right on this curve. And as you can see, it does not work. So I just wanted to put this video out to tell you to save your time and money. In this short clip, I'm going to show you how it could be possible to make this wheel appear to be spinning by using air pressure, which is directed at the top of the wheel from approximately two and a half feet away. Let me give the wheel a little bit of a push to get it to rotate. And as you can see, just like in the other video, the wheel is spinning up and it's going faster and faster. And I can reach in, grab it, and remove it from the holder. If you enjoyed this video, please rate it a thumbs up, subscribe, and post links to this video on other websites and blogs. Also be sure to check out my video playlist as well. If you enjoy these type of videos and you would like to see more in the future, then please support my channel by using the link on my channel main page that says support or you can visit my Patreon page, which has a link posted in the video description area. Once again, thank you very much for watching.